What's up dudes and dudettes? This looks like the same day as the previous video. It's because it is. And I just jumped on that uh, Street 765? Yeah, Street 765. All these cars are going so slow. Maybe it just feels like they're going slow because I'm on a fast bike. Okay. There we go. Oh. Oh. Well, this is different territory for me. Yeah, let's go up Dishman Micah. Less cars and more open road. Fucking Pappy! So I guess this is still kind of a street bike. It's not necessarily a sport bike. Although I'm sure you could take it to the track if you really wanted to. Test out this uh, braking system. Nice. That's a fucking riot! Oh man. Okay, I understand why Moto Carry actually bought one of these. This is fun. We don't know who Moto Carry is. She is another motor vlogger down in the, I believe, central California area. She's awesome. Great motor vlogs. Just all around, pretty cool person. I can't sit on the edge like I can. The speed twin or the thruster on the bonneville or whatever yeah you kind of got this like little cup for your cup for your butt for your seat yeah, that's where you want your butt oh man Ooh. i like it okay all right you know what me personally i would buy one however i want to get rid of that damn display ah i don't like it i like I'm classic. I like I like gauges. I like I like I like the analog gauges. Yeah, I can see why people love these. Not super comfortable for long trips. I I don't think, judging by the seat. How do I adjust that? Can I adjust that mirror? I don't like how that mirror is. Or maybe it is. Maybe maybe you do like these bikes for long trips. Let's see, is this a? I can't remember. Is this a right? Yep, this is a right only. not to get stuck behind traffic I'm more home on the shifter with this than the scrambler and I do like being more in a forward position so this is this is pretty nice I have not ridden a bike like this before either I guess you call this a street sport yeah I've never ridden something like this either a lot of this is new territory for me I'm coming at this with a pure open mind like I know I know nothing about these new bikes I know nothing how they handle. I know nothing. It's a clean slate that I'm riding these bikes on. The only thing I know is it has two wheels, an engine, and a throttle, and brakes. That's all I know. So which is good because then you guys can get a honest opinion of how it feels. I mean, someone can talk to you all day about the specs and what the bike is capable of doing. And the more I ride this, actually the more comfortable I'm getting with it. And that That's a bug. That hit pretty good. But yeah, it looks like it tells you your ambient temperature outside, your coolant, your fuel gauge, your fuel capacity. That's actually kind of nice. I, I do appreciate that. I just wanna, I just wanna open the throttle. Oh my God. Just let me open up the throttle. So this bike, if you're if you're a new rider, I wouldn't stick you on this. Only because it's it's more geared towards people who know what they're doing already. Like myself, I've been riding for four years now. I'm very confident in myself as a rider and, and in my own skills that I can jump on just about any bike and it might be foreign to me at first for a little bit 
Ooh, look at all these potholes. I don't like that. But I get used to it pretty quick. I'm already used to this. And it's kind of kind of the biker's charm. Once you have one bike, you can't just have one bike. I've had my threshing for four years. I've been itching. I was itching for another bike six months in. And not because I didn't like my threshing. It's because I wanted something that can do other applications, like go on the mountain or take to the track or, you know. Uh, I would personally own one of these. Hartford. I don't want to go too far. Another thing, I don't like these mirrors. I really don't. Uh, okay, you're turning. Bunch of cars going my way. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, this is a like that before. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Go away, cars, go away! Retreat, retreat! Alright, here we go. Oh, boy! Yes, ma'am! Can I have? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. If I was given this bike, I would not complain. I don't even care about the digital display. I could change that. Maybe. Hopefully. Probably not. Who knows? This is this is great. I don't want to get too crazy because I don't want to get a ticket. This is a fun bike. I really like this bike. I wouldn't throw someone who's a new rider on this. If you've been around bikes and you've ridden bikes before and say you just got your motorcycle license, even though you've been riding motorcycles for however long. Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't see a problem with that. But if you're a brand new rider, just got out of your MSC course or MSC school, motorcycle safety course. No? Is that what it is? It's been a while. No, I would, I would not throw you on this. Unless you're somehow incredibly talented and like myself, I jumped on the Thruxton. Yeah, it's basically a sport Bonneville, but I jumped on that, ripped on it, and I was completely confident. I was able to rip on the threats and no problem because I used to ride BMX, I used to do skateboarding, I used to do all these coordinated things, all these coordinated sports. So, which made it kind of easy for me. All in all, if you're looking for a street sport hybrid bike like this, I'd say go for it. Of course, I'm only riding Triumphs because, well, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So I can't, I can't say, you know, whether a Kawasaki or Suzuki would be better because that's not what I'm doing. I'm telling you what this Triumph is, you know, whether I like it or not. And once again, stock exhaust is pretty tamed. I would highly recommend putting an aftermarket exhaust on there and make it louder because I believe loud pipes do help save lives. So, I want. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Who be across in the street is you. This bike is pretty light too. Like a lot of Triumph's new bikes are pretty light, a lot lighter than mine. And I've done some weight reduction. It's still kind of heavy. Kind of hungry too. Ah, come on. Uh, let's see. How do I start this? Uh, I fucking killed it. Oh, what is this? No. Oh, there we go. Ah. Fuck! 
Ah, fucking damn it. Do 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 do. Manamana. 370Z. Manamana. Uh, that's what I get for killing it. Oh, jeez. My turn. My turn. My turn. Still in there. My turn. Migo? Yeah, Migo. <laughs> yeah, I try not to kill it this time. As I bring this back to Empire, I just want to say huge thanks to Empire for letting me demo their bike. Uh, of course, I get traffic once again. Oh, it is what? Four o'clock? Yeah, it sounds about right. And if you're in the area, the Spokane area, come on down to Empire. Check out their bikes. Empire has really good staff. You won't find a better shop to get you on two wheels. And when I say shop, I say shop because it's not, yeah, it's a dealership, but it's more than the dealership. It's just, it's just an awesome place. All right, if you're in Seattle, take the five hour drive, come out to Empire. It'll be worth your time. Control. Yep. Gonna kill it. Ugh. Go ahead and turn that off. Mm. Overall, I love this bike. I think it is a very fun bike. Not for the beginners, but definitely for someone who's been riding for a little bit. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Maybe I'll get some Denny's.